Well, I go. We're good back there? All right. Good mic, Scotty, throw it off. Yeah, KB, I uh, was looking at through some of your game logs, and I think you've, you've hit 20-plus points in a season opener before. I think it was a couple seasons ago. Just what's the key to you to to getting off to, to good starts to seasons? Um, I mean, I give all the credits to my teammates and uh, my coaching staff for just preparing me. Um, without these guys, I'm nothing. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, every single day they make it they make it hard for me to um, – to to be the best I could possibly be. So, you know, just, you know, iron sharp is iron. So we got a lot of talented guys on the team, so it could be anybody's name any day. So I can't really take the credit for that. I give it all to them. Jalen, what did you think of, of Caleb and what he brought offensively? Um, I've been seeing this, you know, since he's gotten here. Um, we knew coming in what he could do. But, I mean, since day one, he's just been, you know, you know, scorer, just uh, a team team guy. So, I mean, it's it's nothing, like, new. Like you said, we have a lot of good players. We've seen it in practice. We go at it in practice, so nothing new. Jalen, just how was it tonight? I know you, you've missed some time recently. How'd you feel? How good was it to get back out there for the first regular season game? Uh, I'm just glad uh, to be back with my teammates. Uh, you know, like sitting out from the sidelines is, uh, you know, always tough. But, yeah, I felt good um, just running up and down, um, contributing to, to win. So, yeah. Caleb, I'm wondering, like, do you is there any benefit to come off the bench? Like, you see anything in the first five minutes? Uh, you know, what's kind of your mentality like uh, having this role? I mean, you're still putting up pretty big numbers coming off the bench right now. I mean, I never cared about you know coming off the bench. I only care about winning. I'm saying, you know, I, the preparation comes from you know before the games even start. So coming off the bench doesn't mean anything to me. Whatever coach must needs or the coaching staff or the team needs, that's what I'm gonna do. You know, to maximize you know our team's potential. So if that's coming off the bench, and I'm gonna do it starting. I don't care if I'm the 12th man. I'm going to work like a 12th man regardless, so it don't matter. Yeah, I know you tweeted out the, the pictures of, I guess, you were on the scooter, and the, it, was, it was right foot, right, that you broke? Yeah, this one, I, I broke the left one before, and that was yeah. the right one. How, how, how's the, I assume the foot feels pretty good, or how's it feel? Yeah, you know, it, it was it was a tough summer because, I, I, you know, I couldn't battle with the guys like I, I normally do, you know. I love, I love basketball more than anything, so, you know, just, you know, growing my relationship with God, you know, during the summer. Um, was really important for me and just sticking around the team because, you know, these guys always had their arm around my shoulder uh, to pick me up on my on my bad days. Um, so, you know, just even if when I, even when I was in the booth, I'm still getting shots up because I see how hard these guys are working. So, you know, I didn't want to become complacent or, or, or not work or not show that I care about, you know, us winning. So, you know, I give the credit to these guys to keep me in the gym and my coaching staff as well. In the summer, did you think maybe you'd be at this point where you'd be, you know, playing like you did against Purdue and having a game like this? Or what was it feel like when you went through what you did to be uh, performing like this? Um, you know, I, I give the credit to, you know, God for, you know, knocking me down and, you know, helping my mind build myself back up. You know, it was tough, you know, being in a new place, being far from home. But, you know, like, like I said before, you know, these guys helped me out and the coaching staff and, you know, I, I – I've been doing this my whole life, you know, not to be cocky or anything like that, but like I just I've been a scorer, you know, my whole life. And my grandma always told me when you know what you when when you know who you are, you, you know what you do. So, you know, I just always, you know, pay that forward. You know, it was a lopsided game, but you know, Musk got attacked. Uh, one of their guys got two flaggers, I guess Anderson. Uh, you know, Brazil got ejected. I mean, just how it seemed like it got pretty chippy. What how crazy was that game with the various things that happen. Seem kind of normal. You should come to our practice. <laughs> For real. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, you know, it's the flow of a game, so you don't really realize all that stuff happening like that. But looking back at it, yeah, it was a lot of uh it was a dog fight. I mean, but we expect that. Um, you know, it's SEC. So it's gonna be a lot more games like that. Um so we prepared, you know, we got guys stepping up. Mm, yeah. One well, quick one. Um, I know you guys were expecting to win. You won big, but just how good does it start to? I know the Purdue game almost seems like that was the opener. But um, what, what was it like to just open the season on a good note? You know, take care of business like, like you should have. You know, um, you know, it, it's always good. You know, there's there's gonna be a team like Coach was saying. There's gonna be a team that that loses a good team that shouldn't lose to a team. So I'm glad it's not us. Um, but yeah, it feels good, and uh, we're supposed to do that. We got to build off this and keep going.
Jalen, when we talked to Muss after the Purdue game, he didn't sound super optimistic about your outlook with your injury. Just when did you know that you were going to be back, and and how long have you been full go like a practice and stuff? Um, this week, uh, I've been you know trying to uh, you know get back into it. Uh, Matt Townsend helped me out a lot. My tra the training the trainer. Um, he had this one I don't know what it's called, but this little back thing that that actually uh, helped me out pretty 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 good. Um, but yeah, I just, I just knew I had to come out and, uh, be here for my guys. You know, I was, felt too long for me and, uh, for the team. He scored eight points tonight, but you also had, I think, team high eight rebounds. Just how, how much of a focal point was that for you for, for today? Yeah. Uh, I feel like just changing my game up, making sure that, uh, I contribute more to, uh, rebounding the little things rather than scoring. Got a lot of scores, obviously. Um, so I'm just trying to do my job now. You guys get to to practice with Trevin every day, but it seems like every time we get to see him, he looks a little more comfortable, a little more explosive. Had a couple posters tonight. Just curious, what you guys thought about his showing? I mean, he, he how long was that? He's out for like nine months, so you know, I I feel like it's really underrated. Um, to see what he's doing, how confident he is, um, in his work and his craft, and you know, he's a hard worker. Um, but to see him go out there, you know, after missing the whole season to a tragic injury, you know, is is it's a beautiful thing to watch. And, you know, um, that just shows his character. And he's a team for his guy. You know what I'm saying? So just to see him blossom is, is a beautiful thing. Yeah. Um, I mean, that's my guy. So I, right when that injury happened, you know, we, I was with him. And, uh, you know, just you know, I just knew, like, being around him, like, he was he was just itching to come out um, and play, you know. He was never down like that. Um, I felt like he was just – he just knew that when he came back, it was going to be uh, something amazing. And that's what he, he's doing. Yeah. Hey, Okay. You mentioned the coaching staff. Just what's it been like so far playing under uh, Coach Muss, both in practice and during the game? Man, you know it's it's amazing. You know he's on you like crazy because he knows he knows your potential. So he always tries to maximize every bit of juice that's left inside of you. Um, I mean, it's kind of hard to talk about. You know, he's a he's a genius. You know, I can't. <laughs> I don't really know how it was so I can like you know put it into perspective. But if you were there, you won't understand. But just his preparation, you know, he works just as hard as any of us. He's in the gym before we even get there. I'm a gym rat. He's a gym rat. We're always in the gym. And then when you walk into the gym, whether it's six a.m. or whether it's twelve o'clock at night, you know, he he's he's doing something. You know, what I'm saying if he sees a play, he might text you about it. You know, so he he's he's a, he's a scientist when it comes to this basketball thing. Um, and that's like the least I can say about Coach Moss. You know. Caleb, do you feel like you've grown defensively since you've gotten here? Not to say it was like maybe a sore spot in your game, but how if, if you have grown defensively, how so? Yeah, I think I've grown defensively. You know, I mean, I always had a, a – people said like often like my career, like especially last year, they said I didn't play defense. But if you look at my defensive numbers, you know, they were, I played defense. But, you know, coming here, you know, Coach, Coach Mush really like emphasized that just how – high hands being active, all the little things to show everybody that you play defense. Um, so it, it's not as simple as just keeping a man, you know, under his average. It's, it's as simple as team defense. You know what I'm saying? Knowing concepts, talking, you know what I'm saying? So things like that is, is what Coach must, you know, emphasizes out of out of all of us. You had the broken foot. I think Makai had the broken foot. You had the back spasms. Obviously, Trevor was coming back from knee. I might be missing somebody, but you guys had, had a lot of you going through some stuff. In the preseason, just uh, hopefully everybody's good now. Just what was it like when guys were banged up, and how good is it to sort of have everybody healthy now? Um, you know, it's it just shows our depth. To be honest, um, when one guy was out, you know, you know, Claw stepped in and you know did really well against Zach Eady and and Kai stepped in and you know when I was out, you know, or when they were out in the summer, you know, I had to pick up uh, the slack, you know, and, and that's what we did. But it just shows depth. Um. I'm so glad that we you know we have a full team, a lot of guys, and uh, yeah. Yeah, I think it shows our resilience as a team. Um, we're nowhere near we're going to be at the end of the year. Um, I think Coach Mush can advocate for that. Um, but you know, just taking it day day by day, we're going to learn from this one. You know, we're happy to be one and zero. You know what I'm saying? So you know, we got to build off this. You know, take one game at a time, and it's great to have everybody back in the lineup. So now we got to take advantage of it. What what do you think about KB and what what he's added to the team? Um, you know he's he's a 
a scorer, but but off the court he's a leader. On the court he's a leader. Um, just a great guy to be around. Um, and when you're on the court with him, you your confidence goes up, and you just love playing with a guy like that. Um, I I used to uh you know last year I feel like I was more of a scorer too, so I know how it feels when I come in and my guys get hype and stuff like that. You know, you can put up eight eight ten points uh you know real fast and and uh, you know just cause cause havoc. You know, it's just a great guy be around. Yeah, one more quick one, Katie. It, Matt, Matt Painter said after the Purdue game, you guys had a lot of interchangeable parts, a guard like yourself, Devo, uh, you know, Trevin. Uh, what, what do you think about that, the, the guard depth and how you guys are similar in a lot of ways and can, you know, complement each other? Um, I mean, I, I think that's that's probably every coach's dream. You know, you have a lot of guards that, can, that are interchangeable, guard one through four, and then you got big time, big men down low. You know, and this guy can, you know, you can put him at the three spot if he wants to. He can put the ball on the floor. He can shoot threes. He can dunk on you. So, you know, we got a lot of interchangeable parts. I'm sure Coach will, you know, find new ways to, you know, interchange the lineup and switch things depending on the games. Um, but it's a beautiful thing. And the most important thing about it is just to win. So however it plays out, you know, the most important thing for the team is just winning. So I think that's the beautiful part about it. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. Appreciate you I've been a little sick. What's going around? Yeah, same, same here. Okay. Coach, uh, Caleb, led you guys in scoring. Did it in a variety of ways, got to the free throw line. I mean, did you have to have a discussion with him about coming off the bench before the season? I mean, he sat up here and gave us a very mature response and how he's happy to do it. But I'm just curious, what was that process like, maybe letting him know, or was it really not a process at all? Probably not a process because he was hurt, you know. So I think it just kind of naturally evolved. Obviously, the broken foot was out, you know, most of the summer. Um, and then he had the foot problem as we went into that red and white game and that, you know, put him behind and, and – um you know, so that's that's why. But he's, you know, we're running plays for him. Um, <clears throat> a really explosive score. Um, great foul shooter. So late games, we need him to have the ball in his hands if if we're in the bonus. Um, he was phenomenal tonight. And he can rise up and he's got deep range. He's uh, shoots with great confidence. He's a, he's a really good, really good offensive player. Last time we talked to you, you mentioned uh, an emphasis on rebounding and, and charting the offensive glass and, and things like that. I think you rebounded over half your misses tonight. I, I guess that's more in line with what you were looking for, and do you think that's something they can carry over moving forward? Yeah, I thought certain guys did a great job in the offensive glass. Uh, you know, Davenport, uh, Graham, those two guys in particular, Debo, um, you know, did a, did a good job keeping, keeping balls alive and rebounding through the corners to get to the elbow for long rebounds. And and we got to get better at the point guard position, getting defensive rebounds. L, um, you know, 23 minutes. I mean, we've historically been a great point guard rebounding team. And, uh, you know, tonight, um, you know, L's 23 minutes, Layden's 10, but we didn't have a defensive rebound. And, and we have to, um, you know, we need our guards to go back there and, and, and help on the glass. So that those are areas uh, for us to get better at for sure there for a good amount of minutes after missing so much time with the the back spasms just what do you think of his performance eight and eight today I thought he was great he rebounded the ball with uh with some physicality um you know he kind of grab and go he got a re defensive rebound and pushed it with some good pace um I thought he played you know really good um you know I'm not I'm, I'm, we're not going to play 13 guys and a half like that's just you know and guys are playing their way into rotations and guys are playing their way out that's just kind of how it happens um but we'll we'll probably shorten the rotation and and um you know when that is I don't know the game will dictate it um but we we got a lot of areas that we got to get better at for sure yeah, Coach, Alcorn only made three three-pointers, but they also only took nine. I was just wondering if that number surprises you and if that was such a big point of point of emphasis for you guys trying to keep them off the three-point line. Yeah, I mean, we really wanted uh, number 10 
Um, and number three, we just, we just didn't want them to get any clean looks. Um, you know, a little disappointed that, that Gambrell, you know, hit two of three and went six of eight. Cause he was a focal point of, of our defense. Um, you know, but the guy that we really, you know, we, we tried to do what we could against Edie when we played Purdue in the night, um, Joshua was, was the guy and he went three of 11. So I thought, you know, we talked about those other two shooters, but the focal point really was just trying to not let uh, Joshua, you know, get clean looks and, and have a high volume of assists. So I thought, you know, we've done a great job now twice with stars. The Devo's performance, you know, only five points. It seems like he's okay to take a little bit of a backseat offensively early in the season as the these uh, teams progress. But he had five assists, no turnovers. Just kind of what did you make of the way he impacted the game? On the yeah, season? I thought he was – I mean, the five and five – um, I mean, he had five, five and five. So I thought, you know, across the board, um, he played really well, um, made some great passes. Um, you know, the most important thing is Devo didn't have a turnover. Uh, I thought, you know, I thought, I thought our point guard play, um, other than Devo, we got to take, take better care of the ball, um, for sure. And, uh, you know, Maybe Devo slides over there and plays a little bit more point guard. We'll go back and watch the film and discuss that. 50th straight home opening win. I know most of those, you know, over teams you should be, but how good is it to, and you're, I think you're nine and oh in your career. How good is it to, you know, take care of business, keep taking care of business in those games and, 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 you know, win and play like you're supposed to. You know? Yeah, I mean, we talked before the game about, you know, we knew we were going to have a great student section, which it was. And, you know, how do we get the students back for Friday and the following Monday? And you got to do it by taking care of business, playing the right way, playing hard. I thought we did all those things um, for the most part. Um, but, yeah, you got to Like I told the team before the game, somebody's getting beat tonight across the country. I promise. I told the team, I promise somebody's getting beat. Um, VCU lost at home. Um, Cal Bears are in a, a dog fight with St. Thomas right now for Minnesota. As I walked through here, St. Thomas was up three against a Pac-12 school. So you got to you got to have great respect for who you play every night. Uh, Alcorn State, I would be shocked if they don't have a heck of a year in, in, in the SWAC. I really would. I think they they're well coached. They mix up their defenses. They're scrappy and they play hard. Second half, you got a technical. That that's probably not that weird. And then, um, and then, but there was two flagrants on Anderson. And then uh, we didn't realize it at the time. Brazil got ejected. Uh, is that a, well? First of all, is that a good learning thing for Trevin so it doesn't happen in a in a key game? Come off the bench. You know? Yeah, I mean, I probably needed to. I probably needed to do it. But I didn't address the team after. Thank you for reminding me, Bob. I'll next time we get together in a day or so, I'll 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 remind them. Maybe we can use this audio and I can show them that you asked the question and and uh, I slipped up by not reminding them. A lot to the kids. And um, you're, you're technical. What, you're arguing the foul call or what happened? I, yeah, I just, I felt we, I thought we dribble drove and tried to get to the foul line and, and um, you know, they, they did a good job. Is physical game, so. Speaking of Brazil, he had a couple of highlight reel dunks there early. Just, is he almost or is he fully back to kind of pre-injury Brazil and has it surprised you how quickly he's come along like he has not really I, I I think our trainers and doctors and TB himself they did a phenomenal job like of being patient I thought the timeline that we all put together was awesome um you know we were a little conservative on the front end and now he's able to you know to play the way that he's capable of playing he's improved as a shooter I you know I thought athletically tonight I mean he just I mean he he rose above a lot of people. Um, yeah, he's, I would say he's hundred percent healthy and kind of fearless the way he's, you know, jumping and, and rebounding in traffic. Davenport only went one of six from deep. I think Pinion only took a couple, but y'all still shot 40% as a team on uh 30 attempts. Just how pleased are you with the, the y'all's you know, perimeter shooting today? I mean, it was really important that I didn't keep hearing about it from, from you guys and, and everybody else about our shooting. So um, we tried to address it. I think we've addressed it, but only time will tell. The other game last Rudy season, pointed that pretty out good during start. The game. Thanks, uh, Scotty. Uh, on, I wanted to ask you about Caleb. I'm not, I didn't, I don't want to say I didn't 
expect to see him sit down and defend uh, when he got here, but we've seen that through two games, I guess the Purdue game and tonight, just where where's he grown defensively and is he bought in to what you want team defense was? Yeah, I think in the last like 10 days, KB has been so bought in. Um, he's really, t- I mean, today at shoot around, he was as vocal as anybody defensively, like super, super vocal. Um, and, and I mean, I think he knows that if you want to get on the floor here, you got to defend. Um, and he's doing that, you know, and, and, um, you also got to defend with, um, you know, with intelligence and understanding when the other team's in the bonus and how to space your guy out. And I think he's done a really good job of that. Some other guys got to learn. I mean, we had two guys foul out and I mean, two guys, 10 fouls in, in 20 minutes combined. We, you know, like you want to be aggressive, but you also got to, got to understand, um, you know, how to, how to temper that aggressiveness when in fact the opposing team is in the bonus. Coach, you talked about Alcorn State mixing up defenses. They showed you a fair amount of full court pressure in the second half. How did you feel your team handled that, and what can you take moving forward seeing that? I mean, we turned the ball over way too much. Um, you know, I, we also scored pretty easy when we did get it across. Um, you know, but there was a – there was a, Devo wasn't in and T. Mark wasn't in to, to help negate that. Um they will be in when, <laughs> when, when, when we're playing against a team that presses us and it's a close game. First forced in each of the exhibitions, 16 forced tonight. Just how satisfied are you with, you talked about team defense, the defensive identity of this team? I think, okay. I mean, I, I thought we were better in the other two games defensively. Um, you know, that second half, I mean, we, we got to have some rim protection, you know, like, um, way too many layups um you know i thought jalen did the best job at at protecting the rim um, which we need him uh to um eric you know in the summer i know mckay had a broken foot right at the time you know kb had a broken foot obviously trevor was still rehabbing um, there was something else. Oh, well, obviously Jalen had his back spasms, but there was some other stuff. Let us know. What was that like when you had some key guys out and now it looks like, you know, your team's pretty healthy. Yeah. Together. Even L we didn't know, you know, two days ago, if L would play, he didn't practice most of the week. He, he hurt his knee, um, got an MRI, came back clean training staff, did an awesome job. Um, what's today monday so saturday he he kind of came back and 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 got back involved um so this is the healthiest that we've been since we've gotten together at the beginning of the summer tonight's the healthiest that we've been and then how tough was it in the summer because i know you must hate it when your guys can't go you know you know i think just because uh yeah i mean it's always it can always be you know be a little bit frustrating um you know, when there's injuries and, and, and back spasms and, you know, things like that. But, um, you know, like our strength coach and our trainer and our doctors, they're, they're like, they're so good about, you know, I mean, Matt's constantly, Hey, we got to get him ready for the game, you know, be paid, you know? And so he's, they, everybody's played in the game. So right now, other than Jalen being unavailable for those two games, um, you know, so I, I'm happy with where we are medically and, and that everybody's healthy. Talked about the depth, you know, when those guys were banged up and you still had a good summer, good preseason, obviously played well in the exhibitions. Where do you feel like the depth of the – I know it's real early, but where do you feel like the depth of this team is maybe compared to other ones you've had? Yeah, I mean, I think tonight, um, you know, tonight uh, – I thought, the you know, the first two games – um, and we didn't play as many, obviously, against Purdue. And I listened to Coach Painter's podcast the other day with a national guy, and he even said he didn't play as many guys as he would have liked just because of how competitive the game turned into. And I feel the same way. Um, but I think, I, you know, I mean, we're deep, but we also – some guys need to play better than they did tonight. Um, they might not agree with that, but um, – there were some there were some things that we got to get better at and and like I said, with every team guys play their their way into the rotation and guys play their way out of the rotation. 
Um, well, I'm not going to, we're not going to play 13 guys. I mean, that's just, you know, that's, you know, unrealistic. And so, um, you know, do we play nine? Do we go back to eight? Um, you know, cause you want players to be able to feel that they can play through mistakes as well. Um, and sometimes I think when you extend, uh, the rotation guys might not feel that way. Uh, you weren't in here when battle was in here. He called you a scientist and a genius. I was just wondering if what you, or do you, did he really? Yeah. Wow. You can, you could go listen to the tapes. Uh, just, I guess, uh, is that I, would I would, you characterize I what it that kind way? of scientist like if it mad scientist or <laughs> well you'll have to ask him about it but is that kind of how you characterize how you go about your daily work and business not really i mean i not really i'm surprised he said it my new agent k battle Sure. Uh, Gardner Webb, I mean, have you started scouting them? And then, you know, just how important is it to kind of the things that you did like tonight, the the shooting, maybe the the aggressiveness on offense, carrying that over into game two? Well, Gardner Webb has a has a uh, a guard that's an all league guard. He's a returner. Um he's an all league guy. So we'll have to do a good job defensively on him. Um, they scored a lot of points tonight. Um, you know, I know Michael um, was watching the game before our game. Um, at halftime, he was he was either looking at the score or something on the computer with with Gardner Webb, and um, they're well coached. Um, you know, again, I haven't. I mean, I'll dive really dive in him doing tonight but for sure their their guard is a is a is a handful and we've got to learn his tendencies as quick as we possibly can you know there's obviously a lot of personnel turnover on that team from a year or two ago when you guys played them but is there anything maybe stylistically from coach Kraft that that might carry over you know i i just think curtis you know having played against him we felt like they were really well coached um that they understood their roles um, and that they got an opportunity to potentially win their league. I mean, I, the team we just played tonight, like, um, I mean, those guys in Texas Southern, I mean, it's, I mean, those, one of those two teams probably going to win that league. Um, and Gardner Webb is always a team that we feel is really well coached. And, and, um, like I said, they have a talented guard that I know that, as a staff, we've kind of already been talking about him. Yeah, Eric, going back to your depth, I mean, I know you don't want injuries, but during the course of the season, it's usually inevitable. So now if you feel bit better about your ability to absorb in-season injuries. You know what I'm really impressed that? about tonight, Bob? What's the date? November what? Huh? November 6th, and you're wearing shorts. That's impre that's impressive. Arkansas weather, man. We got Bob Holt in shorts on November sixth. That's impressive. Oh, good job, Curtis. I have I've had him on. To absorb in in season injuries if they happen. Yeah, I mean, I I definitely think the depth is um you know we see it in practice every day and and um you know we had I mean if you look at the plus minus tonight though there was. You know, there's some guys that there's a little bit of a, of a drop in the plus minus even tonight. Um, but we definitely have more depth than we than we have in the past. And as far as far as uh, KB, you know, he, we see him on Crutch's red white game, which gosh, that was about a month ago, and now he's scoring twenty plus points. He obviously had a real good game against Purdue. Has he surprised you a little bit with his ability to come back so quickly, or what have you thought about his, I guess, recovery and how he's how well he's playing for yeah. you all of late? I mean, I think with his foot, Bob, he, you know, he's, he's, he's broken both of them, the right and the left. And so I think that, um, you know, he felt uncomfortable in the shoes. Um, and then it just kind of, you know, it flared up or whatever. And, um, but no, like when we, when we signed him, um, I mean, we felt like he was as explosive a score as we had seen. 
you know, like he can rise up, he can get his own shot. He's got deep range. He can make his fouls and he's, and he can draw fouls. So I'm not surprised how he's played. Um, I thought maybe since he was out a lot that maybe the, be, he'd be a little rusty, but he's a gym rat. Like he lives in the gym. So we had eight guys on the day of a game, lift weights on their own. I, I mean, I, that hasn't happened since I've been in the NBA and, and, um, you know, cause in that league guys do lift on the day of the game, but I was in there working out and I'm like, that's the seventh guy. That's the eighth. I mean, I've never seen anything like it before 10 in the morning guys doing it on their own. Today was not a lift day. Um, and then we had a bunch of guys shooting over here. I mean, it's the work ethic right now amongst the groups. Really impressive. He, Coach Tremont had 16 on eight shots, three assists, two just, feel like he complimented KB pretty well and just what were your takeaways yeah I, mean, I think those two guys you know against the zone are going to do damage those two guys can do damage one-on-one -on -one. um you know T Mark against Purdue played a lot of point guard position for us as well and I didn't I didn't play him at that position tonight at all um probably probably slide him over there at times I I, I probably you know in, in hindsight I you know, tried to get everybody in the game and give everybody an opportunity. And, um, I'll probably go back tonight and, and, um, you know, self critique that we, 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 I, I played him there in a game that was back and forth against third best team in the country. And then tonight I didn't give him an opportunity to play the, the point spot. And I, I need him to get some reps there. Thanks you guys.